Our center learned about the epidemic in China in early January. A coronavirus like this was going to spread around the world, and it would include the United States. I'm Dr. Tom Inglesby, director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. Our center's mission is to protect people from the consequences of epidemics. We do that by working with leaders, trying to change policy for the better in the U.S. and around the world in ways that help us prevent epidemics and respond to them more rapidly and more effectively. In early March, with Anita Cicero, I wrote an editorial in the New York Times, which was aimed at really galvanizing public attention about the coming pandemic. Our message at the time was that we needed to focus on getting our hospitals ready for the onslaught of patients and getting our diagnostic tools in place so we could be able to diagnose early and widely. Vaccine development is likely to take at least 12 to 18 months. I was asked to testify in front of Congress about what we needed to do to prepare ourselves for this pandemic. And it was one of the last events on the Hill that was scheduled. Uh, can you hear me at this level? Today I testified in front of the House Select Committee on COVID-19. To minimize the risk of COVID spread accelerating in a state during reopening, four conditions should be in place. It was done virtually online because the House is not in session and the purpose was to focus on a safe reopening of the economy and to look at the overall strategy of the country around COVID-19 response. Joining us once again from Baltimore, Dr. Tom Inglesby. I think my job with the press is to update the public with the facts that are known. I think you need to get down to the state level to really understand what's going on around the country and to provide my own interpretation of what's happening in a very straightforward way. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. And to help people think about their own roles and what they can do in their own communities in responding to COVID-19. For events like pandemics. Johns Hopkins School of Public Health has an important role to play in advising political leaders. Thank you, Governor Hogan. We have to make many decisions, and I believe they should be as grounded in science and public health as they possibly can be. And so our school can provide nonpartisan, straight scientific information that's been gained over years of study of pandemics and can work with policymakers as they make very difficult decisions in, in trying to guide us through this pandemic.